Grids are pretty much Design 101 and essential for making presentations look good. You'll likely be familiar with grids from the world of photography. It's called the Rule of Thirds, where content is divided to sit in any combination across a 3x3 grid system, giving balance to content in the image. Well, the same thing applies to presentations. And here you can see how we've used the grid system to good effect, breaking the content up into three clear sections that you can use to tell the start, middle and end of your story, so it's much easier for your audience to follow. Here's another, where we've created a grid within a grid, with three columns within the main two thirds, but it still helps to create a feeling of harmony and sophistication. And don't think that your divisions have to be straight along the grid lines. Here's an example that doesn't apply the rule exactly, but it still works really well. Let's show you how you can apply your own 3x3 grid to help lay out your slides. If you right click on a blank area of the slide, halfway down the pop-up menu you'll see Grid and Guides, and you can expand that further to show some options. If you check the Guides option, it will bring up these thin dotted grey lines on your slide. These are useful as objects will snap to them so you can line things up really easily with them. They're also useful to mark out third sections on your slides as you can move them about by dragging them around. For thirds, you need two, so simply press and hold the control key and then click on a guide and drag it to a new position to create a new one. Now, creating the exact thirds layouts can be complex, but the quick trick is to draw a line on one edge of the slide then, use the copy drag by holding down the control key and dragging the line to create a new one. Do that twice more with the final line positioned on the other edge of the slide. Now select all four lines and evenly space them by going to the Home tab on the ribbon, then Arrange on the right hand side, down to Align and then down to Distribute horizontally. Your lines are now evenly spaced, giving you one third, two thirds and three thirds spaces. Use those lines to position your guides, and you're nicely set with three clear areas on the slide. You can do the same thing horizontally, drawing one line at the top, copy dragging it down three times, distributing them vertically to make things even, and then positioning one horizontal guide with the first third line, and copy dragging a second guide into the second third position. And now you've got a great 3x3 grid to work with to create excellent slides. OK, so you have the idea of a 3x3 grid. Let's use it to enhance the layout of this slide. What do you think about how it transforms into this? Like it? Well, it's all done by just applying the grid. Let's look at how easy it is. First thing to do is bring up your 3x3 grid. You'll see on this slide we've got orange guides. These are the same as the grey ones you saw earlier, but instead they're set in the slide master. They do pretty much the same thing, but you can't move them on a normal slide, so you're not going to accidentally catch them and mess up your grid, so it may be worth doing. With that sorted, resize the image using the white grab handles so that it fills the entire screen. Now go to the Format tab on the ribbon and crop over on the right. Use the black grab handles to crop the image from the bottom up to the lower third line and crop down from the top so that you leave room for the title. Great! The image now fills the top two thirds of the slide, so let's use the bottom third for the text. Move each of the text boxes down so that they fit roughly into the remaining three areas at the bottom and remove the bullet points by toggling the bullet point button in the middle of the home tab on the ribbon. Position the edge of one text box to one edge of the slide and, with all selected, resize it so that it snaps to the first third guide. Doing this means that all of your text boxes are the same size, which just saves time. Take the right hand text box and position it within its two guides, and then, selecting all of them, go to the Home tab on the ribbon, then Arrange on the right, and then Align on the bottom to space things out neatly. Choose Distribute Horizontally at the bottom of the list, and then go back and choose Align Middle, so that everything is nicely lined up. Now move all of them to the middle of the third, and you're almost done. 
It's quite nice to clearly demark each of the text boxes, so draw a line within the lower third between the left two text boxes, and then copy drag by holding the control key and dragging your copy over to the gap between the right hand pair. That separates things out nicely, but if you're being really discerning, and I know you are, then you'll see the spacing isn't quite right between the text and the lines. So if you resize the text boxes, making them smaller, the text will wrap, sitting over two lines, which makes things look much more balanced. See the power of using a grid? It can make such a big impact on the look of your slides.